Well, if you're not tired, let's hear a better round of applause for them. We certainly had an eye feast of dance this evening. Our next speaker, I'm not sure if she will want to dance for us. If she do, we'll allow her that opportunity. Her name is synonymous with the People's National Movement. She's indeed a stalwart of the party. She held several ministerial positions. She's presently the MP, the Member of Parliament for uh, the constituency of Arima. She, meant, uh, she mentioned to me a little earlier that she is a southerner born and bred in Barrackpore, Gordon. And she said that she don't want me to do too many introductions because she will introduce herself and I'm sure she'll do a better job than me. So she's no stranger to this side of the land. Let's put our hands together as we welcome our featured speaker for this evening, the Honorable Member of Parliament for Arima and Minister of Planning and Development, Ms. Penelope Beckers. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rampasad, Chairman of tonight's proceedings. So let me say with me is my brother, Lincoln Beckles, and my counselor for the Arima Borough Corporation, Councillor Sheldon Garcia. Okay. I want to acknowledge Mr. Curtis Shade, the chairman of the Tabakit PN People's National Movement Constituency, the vice chairman, Mr. Watson, your guest speaker, Mr. Sinanan, and your prospective candidate, Mr. Anil Ramjit. It's my pleasure to be here. I, I don't really consider myself as a featured speaker. I'm just going to share with you a few words. Um, I'll start by saying good evening and Sita Ram. And what a pleasure it is to be here in this Gasparillo Bonaventure area. So yes, I'm originally from Bodna Village, for those of you, how many of you know where that is? <laughs> okay, so that is just before Lengua, or just a village just a little way from Barapo. Okay, so I am a southerner, um, and I also lived on Union Road, Marabella. For those of you who remember Pinu's Garage, right? I used to live right opposite there. So I'm no stranger here, so when... I got the invitation to be here. I, it was quite my pleasure. Um, and I'm so happy that you don't have rain tonight. You know, whenever you see Diwali, you think of rain. Uh, so I was happy um, because, you know, coming here today brings back memories of my childhood. You know, and Badnaf is a traditionally Hindu village. And um, so that light in the deer, cutting the bamboo, bursting the bamboo, that was an exercise that I always looked, um, you know, forward to. I haven't had much of that when I moved up to the East, but my memories of San Fernando and those experiences are, you know, very special. So, you know, when you think of Diwali, as um, Mr. Sinanan said and Dr. Rampasad and other previous speakers, you think about, you know, light over darkness and... Um, you think about, it's, in a, it's a Christmas feeling for me whenever it comes. You know, you think about good over evil and um, knowledge over ignorance. One of the good things about Diwali um, for our indentured sisters and brothers who came from India in 1845 is that it allowed us the benefit of what we are seeing tonight so that we have now that you can play a bhajan on the steel pan and that 
you know, they were allowed, of course, to keep their culture. So, you know, some people are always fascinated by the fact that, you know, you know, a lot of the Indians have been able to maintain their dress, maintain their culture, be able to comfortably speak Hindi. And that was one of the benefits of coming in 1845 after slavery was ended. So as Trinidadians and Tobagonians, one, one of the beauty of being in a multicultural, multi-ethnic, multi-religious society is that we could come tonight and we could enjoy the skill, the gifts, the crafts, of the artists, of the dancers, and I am so happy to see Suzanne tonight and her and her group. And you all don't know how fortunate you are to have had one of our best um, bands in Trinidad and Tobago performing here tonight. So let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> so you know that, that the level of comfort that we all feel um, for Diwali to be able to wear, you know, to go and purchase Indian wear. And of course, look forward to, to the food because part of the integration is the fact that you now have the benefit of eating, you know, Indian food. You have the benefit of, of understanding the culture. You also have the benefit of comfortably wearing, you know, Indian wear and understanding, you know, exactly what their culture is about. Like we do when there is the emancipation and when we have Eid and when we have other religious festivals, it's part of the integration of a country and a society that many other people envy in many parts of the world because you really don't see it in many parts of the world. And that is what fascinates um, people when they come to Trinidad and Tobago. So, you know, as I'm here today, I think about it. I think about the fact that Notwithstanding some of the challenges we have, yes, we think about crime and ideally we want to have a peaceful, we want to be able to go around comfortably and not have those challenges. But one of the things that gives us hope is events like these. And I really want to use the opportunity to congratulate, um, you know, the Mr. Shade, Mr. Ramjit, Mr. Watson, the entire Tabakit constituency for organizing this event and more importantly that all of you have stayed throughout the entire event and that is a testimony to the fact that you have enjoyed it. So let's celebrate and give them that round of applause. So now the interesting thing is that Diwali was first celebrated in 1966. Eric Williams um, declared that a holiday and since then it is celebrated every year. And it is something we all look forward to. Um, Thursday is a day we hope and pray that we won't have rain so that all the different villages would be able to continue to light their deer. Now, I've, I've noticed that we, you know, there's now the modern deers with batteries where they will just turn it and the light comes on. Of course, those of us who have grown up in villages still liked the, the, uh, to be able to see just what I'm seeing here tonight and the fact that the children will go and put the gear and so I mean that is something that gives you a different the community spirit that I think Mr. Sinanan and Dr. Rampasad and all of us spoke about you lose that when the children are not able to go around and light the deers so I just want to congratulate everyone I know it's late so today is not a day for speeches but it's my absolute pleasure to be here, and I just want to wish the villages of Gasparillo, Bonaventure, the entire constituency of Tabakit, Shubdiwali. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>